Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, we want to talk about a career choice for life science graduates. You know, many students are considering the fact, you know, they, they come into uh, this particular field of life sciences, which can, which can be microbiology, biotechnology, molecular biology, biochemistry, any of the modern biology subject thinking of getting a better job opportunity. And, you know, considering the situation right now in India, you are not going to get that much of a, a vast array of uh, choices or options. So if after doing BSU, you, you think like, going into a job rather than continuing your academic career which is a long way to go then there are good options there are options that i mentioned earlier which is known as the postgraduate diploma and one of this best postgraduate diploma is clinical research okay in one of my video i discussed about the different types of postgraduate diploma courses and i mentioned that clinical research is kind of one of the best postgraduate diploma course that you can do so what is clinical research? Again, as I said, uh, it can be done as a postgraduate diploma for a one year course. There's also a certification course, which is of six months. And there is also a totally graduation course. But the most important one is the postgraduate diploma that is one year course. Now, which is done in different uh, colleges and universities. And definitely you need to check your area, your locality, your state, and you can find out the respective Okay, so what is this clinical research? Clinical research is uh, an application based field where you can go after any life science degree, which can be zoology, botany, uh, microbiology, biotechnology, physiology. From any of this field, you can go to clinical research diploma course. This course is of one year duration and the charges are varying from different institute to institute the charges are varying uh, it may start from 20000 25000 to 1 lakh 1, 1 lakh 50000 rupees depending upon where uh, where you are doing this course from now the second important thing is that what is this course what is clinical research as a course what do you need to learn the thing is that once the clinical research course is done actually through this course you are prepared you are being prepared for handling clinical data Okay, so there are multiple terms out there clinical data management pharmacovigilance this these things are separate and they are also sometimes considered as separate courses, but I'm going to all tag all of them together because you know after uh, like you join into this course, they actually help you to understand some principles of drug uh, related trials clinical trials okay so normally right now in the situation of pandemic you know that there are in case of a vaccine there are clinical trials required in case of any medicine that is approved a clinical trial which is of a huge big process and time consuming process runs so in india we have all the pharmaceutical companies they are running every single medicines they are coming and launching new they are going through these clinical trials so as a clinical researcher, you need to be a part of the clinical trial coordinator. You can be a part of clinical trial supervisor. You can be a part of clinical trial manager, project manager. So there are different positions out there where you can go and uh, do the job uh, after qualifying this, uh, after having the degree of clinical research diploma, postgraduate diploma. Why we call it postgraduate diploma? Because you can only do that after your graduation or BSc completion. Okay, not after plus two, but after BSc. So this is kind of the overall idea what you need to do. You need to uh, keep track of uh, the clinical trial of different drugs okay and you need to maintain the timeline you need to gather the data you need to put the data analyze the data so many things are there and you need to work in hand to hand with hospitals with where the clinical trials are being conducted with labs you need to in contact with uh, the team of doctors who are running this process team of the researchers who are running this process so it's not a wet lab job okay because when you talk about industrial jobs there are wet lab jobs and a dry lab jobs wet lab means the job where we do the practicals including all the instrumentations and all but dry lab job means you are doing a data management works so your work is official but what you are doing is you are connecting the dry wet lab results and connecting that to the field of uh, the drug development that's what you need to do this is all about the clinical research course now the second uh, thing here is that uh, after doing this clinical research course, uh, what are the positions of job you can go for? 
see as i as i told you you can become a clinical research coordinator you can become a research associate you can be, uh, become a project head okay or a project manager there are three four different posts and in all this post the salary ranges starting from 2.5 lakh per annum and 2 3.5 lakh 4 lakh per annum at the beginning at the start point right now depending upon which city you are uh, currently in so the in india if you talk about india the clinical research jobs are more uh, predominant in hyderabad bangalore those those area okay so people generally tend to go to the south uh, to have a job regarding that field so generally once you get into the job the initial salary is not that much high that is 3 lakh to 3 and 5 3.5 lakh which is not big uh, per annum but slowly as you uh, get the experience and you are, your position gets shifted then uh, you can get some better quality job and your salary may increase in the future times that's the idea Now the third important thing is that uh, what are the topics, what are the subjects that you are taught during this uh, one year diploma program. In the diploma program there are few things extra that you need to learn. You know they choose life science students because they want uh, you to have a basic idea about human physiology and you know about overall life science idea overall cell biology, molecule biology, all these things. So that's why it's preferable that students going into this field from microbiology, biotechnology, all this uh, biochemistry, molecular biology, those fields. So now what you are being taught during this course are something important. For example, epidemiology or when a disease starts spreading. So the pattern of spread, the pattern of the disease, how to categorize a disease, all these things. For example, right now we are calling COVID-19 as a pandemic. So why we are calling it as a pandemic? There are epidemic, there are pandemic, there are endemic, there are different classifications of epidemiology that you are uh, supposed to know from, from that uh, uh, process, okay, uh, in that course. The second thing that uh, you also need to know extra is something about the pharmacology. Obviously, you need to have a pharmacology knowledge, a basic overall pharmacology knowledge regarding drugs and medicines and how they are used, uh, all these things. The third thing is how clinical trials are managed the practical aspect of a clinical trial, how the trial is conducted, what are the different phases of the trial, how it's conducted and what are the problems that a clinical trial may encounter and how to resolve them. All these things should be taught in this one year period of time. And after that, they will also put you for an internship. If you are doing this course from a good university or college or institute, it can be private institute, it doesn't matter. But if the institute is good enough, I mean, they must give you a, a like six months intern or three months internship in different hospitals or different pharmaceutical companies. So they will give you the placement. The moment you decide to join a postgraduate diploma course like this one, like the clinical research course, you are always determined to get a job okay that's what you're doing this otherwise why you are taking a diploma course after graduation because you need fast job so definitely go for an institute it can be private it can be government actually most of the private inst institutes are running this type of courses so go for any of this uh, institute who has a strong placement history not just what they say but talk to the pass out candidates from that institute this is the best way to know and judge institute okay so what they are saying whether they are being placed if they are being placed what salary they are drawing right now so those things you must get to know before applying into any uh, colleges or universities for this postgraduate diploma course there is also certificate course of six months but i will not recommend you to go for a certificate course always go for a postgraduate diploma course it's only one year and actually to understand all these different things you need to have a like at least one year in your hand for your preparation along with that there are some institutes who combine spoken english and body language training for you because you need to be uh, involved in the corporate sector you need to be involved in a sector where you need to analyze the whole clinical trial either you will be conducting the whole clinical trial you will manage the clinical trial or you will be an analyst after you get a senior position you will be an analyst so you need to analyze a data a lot of data so you need to be good at data so so biostatistics is something that you need to learn in this one year period uh, there are some software handling that you need to learn for this one year period so these things personality build up the body language build up as well as the English speaking skills all these things are important which is a part of the curriculum for this whole one year process and then they will put you into an internship so that they can check whatever you learned you can apply it or not and then you will be allowed to go for a job so that's what 
is good about this particular course is that in a one year time is not uh, that much big because you know many people don't know after graduation what they will do so they go into msc and after doing msc they think about like uh, they want a job fast and after doing normal graduation in msc it's very difficult to get a job in the life science field in india right now so you do a, a like a course like this clinical research that can launch you directly to uh, some sort of internship some sort of job by the placement offered by the institute or college that will be a great launching pad that's why this course is really lucrative and i want many of you to attain this kind of course uh, for a better understanding for a better like chance of getting a job although the salary is very low at the beginning but you'll get a job fast and you'll get experience and experience always talks in in, in the matter of corporate sector jobs so the more experienced you are, the better job you will get in the future times. Okay. So that's the overall idea about the clinical research. And if you like this video about clinical research, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel as well as hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, it get notified to your uh, email ID. Thank you everyone.